Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on March 9th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything affecting our planet and you. So thank you for joining me. Looking here at the last 48 hours, incoming images, 304 angstroms, large plasma filaments incoming, and a couple fiery regions as well growing. We did have a one sunspot form in the outgoing position there. And as well, we have a small fiery region incoming here on the northwestern limb. I wanted to point out these plasma filaments right beside the coronal hole that is developing. Looking here at another light, you can really see that the sun is activated and bringing a lot of light and as well some filament eruptions here in northern hemisphere i was watching that large plasma filament in the last update as well looking at outgoing images here of the active sunspot region another light you can see the coronal hole that is developing and stretching towards the equator in the southern region as well in this region I showed earlier the plasma geospace magnetosphere this is what our solar winds are doing to our planet right now and it looks like we're seeing a lot of backside activity all that green incoming from the back as we travel to the through the galactic sheath Looking here at the real-time solar wind, we are steady at about 480 kilometers per second, and we did see a jump up to about 560 kilometers per second overnight, but nothing drastic. We are not being affected by any space weather right now. Geomagnetic activity remains low. And looking here at the Lasco 2 images, you can see a small CME burst away and as well pretty bright fiery region there in the last image looking here at our schumann resonance for today as we are at a power of 24 it looks like some missing data over the last few hours and yesterday so base frequency is normally 7.83 and we are at a quality of 12 an amplitude of 38. Let's have a look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours as still, it's still pretty, pretty busy guys. Looking here, most recent a 4.2 in Pakistan, Tajikistan, border with Pakistan, as well a 4.3 here reported in Greece at a 10 kilometer depth. Puerto Rico, still, well, sorry, starting to increase its frequency as it's been steady with twos and threes for a few months. And then when the Kermadec Islands earthquake struck, kind of relieved some pressure across central regions and the North American plate. Looking at Texas there, 2.5, and as well White City, Mexico, 2.6, Baker, California, and as well Stonepipe Wells, California. Looking here over Alaska, Largest reported quake, 3.3. And then Western Ring of Fire, very active today, right from Kamchatka and down. 4.4 there, 4.5, Kiri Islands, 
4.9, Anuta, Japan, Tema, Japan, and as well, Naimi, Naim, Name, however they say it, as well at 4.6, Hangzhou, Taiwan, and a large 5.5 reported here, Benkulu, Indonesia, and that is just northwest of Anak Krakatoa. 4.8 here in uh, Timor Lake, Timor Leste, sorry, Indonesia, Indonesia. And then, yeah, very active still throughout the Kermadex down into New Zealand. Nothing larger than a 5.2 reported today, but still we're looking at, wow, like probably 150 to 300 to 200 quakes over the past four days since it started. Overlooking Hawaii, small rumbles. Nothing major to report there. Overlooking South America, a 5.2 struck Land Andres, Chile. And as well, a 4.2 and a 3.8. So South America quiet as well. It seems like Kermadec. New, Ze New Zealand is stealing all the energy right now. But when you look at the last seven days, we're still looking at a lot of deep earthquakes on every continent right now. And quite a few most recent deep earthquakes, South America. So activity is starting to increase there. And as well through the Indian plate. many many earthquakes you gotta wonder what is going on there are we gonna have a new island here soon in the southwest pacific this is the last seven days for earthquakes pretty quiet north american plate iceland still seeing continued frequency in earthquakes Southern Hemisphere, pretty quiet right now. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here, where we look at the most updated and most recently updated volcanoes from around the world. Dakono in Indonesia, Era in Japan, Ibu, Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Sabinkaya in Peru, Venimianov in the United States. That's right, that is a brand new one. So now we are at 51 erupting volcanoes around the world. This marks number 51. Venimianov from three days ago, showing small ash and signs of unrest. We continue on here. Pacaya in Guatemala. Reventador in Ecuador. As well, Popo in Mexico. Sangay in Ecuador. Rung, Indonesia. Etna in Italy, Cinnabung, Semeru, and as well, Kluchevskoy. So that's about 15 volcanoes being updated recently today. And we're going to be keeping an eye on the region here in Guatemala, as there could be four active volcanoes in the region. Two are not being posted here, but Santa Maria is alive, and as well, Masaya. So stay tuned for another volcanic activity report. We'll be coming up in the next couple days here. We're going to assess the situation and give a big recount as we are sitting at 51. Across the United States, winter storm conditions moving into upper northwest and flooding conditions continue through the central regions, Kentucky, Illinois, and as well, South Carolina and Florida. Overlooking South America, I wanted to point out here today as well, many storms have broken out through Peru. A few friends were dropping into the stream and saying, wow, thunderous conditions through Peru. And yeah, check this out. The alerts are popping up across the mountains here, the Appalachians. I think that's what they're called. But yeah, still, stormy conditions will be brewing up throughout the week across South America. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth 
and as well, Meteo Mike with Morning Dew. Starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As yes, we still have some very cold nights and north winds came in today. Cooled things right off down to minus 12 degrees Celsius tonight. But the roller coaster of temperatures will continue as soon as that low pressure system moves away from the west coast. But then watch as those cold temperatures will be brought down to the United States. And snowy conditions throughout BC and northern Alberta. No major weather systems to affect Alberta right now. Still very dry. Big system could be coming out of the Sierra Nevadas and into Colorado this week, but it looks like it's going to move southward into the Gulf. Five-day forecast, or sorry, long-range forecast could be very interesting. And as well, watch for stormy conditions right across the central United States and moving southward, big high-pressure ridge moving in. You will see some pretty intense stormy conditions when that system comes through. So that is for Thursday into Friday. And then for the weekend. So yeah, stormy weekend coming up for the United States. And as well, stormy weekend coming up for Quebec and Newfoundland, Atlantic provinces, getting rain northward, getting snow. Overlooking Europe, big low pressure system here just north of the United Kingdom still fueling down all these very cold temperatures and rain. And it looks like the center of the low is getting ready to settle over Iceland. So watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout the region in the next week. And as well, watch for heavy snowfall in parts of um, Norway's and into Finland. Overlooking Central Europe. Low pressure system here developing in the Mediterranean, moving eastward and is going to have quite an effect here on parts of Iraq and Iran and eastward. Heavy snow. Northern Pakistan. Overlooking China and Russia. A couple small systems moving eastward and then another big winter storm heading into parts of central Russia. Things are warming up in the Pacific. No real lows to talk about, but could see a low developing here over the Philippines in the long range forecast. Watch for heavy rains. Not too much to talk about in the regions except for daily evaporation. Could see some heavy rains through Papua New Guinea. Overlooking Australia, Northern Territory, watch for a lot of moisture in the five day forecast and as well central regions, watch for a bit of a relief as system moves through. Same thing for southeastern parts of Australia. Pretty spotty rain showers over the next five days. So hopefully a relief to all of you heat suffering friends and family down in Australia and Thank you for all of the new friends and family from Australia. Many, many thank you. And thanks to everybody who subscribed. Also looking here, Tropical Cyclone Habana. Now it is heading eastward right now. And then the forecast shows it dipping southward and then possibly going eastward again. So I talked about this storm a few days ago and I thought quite possibly this storm could just do laps in the Indian Ocean right now. And so far it is overlooking Africa things really heating up in the Congo region Congo region later in the week no major systems to talk about daily evaporation rains continue overlooking South America very stormy conditions are going to continue through Peru parts of Bolivia and Paraguay over the next little while could see some intense daily evaporation rain later in the week here no major systems affecting South America right now either. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Pointing out the big players on our planet right now. Big low in the Southern Hemisphere. Through 
the South Sandwich Islands. Watch for an uptick in seismicity through South Sandwich region in the next few days. And as well, Northern Hemisphere, as I pointed out earlier, big system heading over to Iceland. So watch for an uptick in that region as well. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared, and thank you all for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share with all your friends from around the world. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.